first neti pot. <laughs> Sweet by Coke. I'm dying at this comment. You have to say it like curse ed. Wait, neti pot? You mean neti space pot? <laughs> yeah, I figured, but only because of my high intellect. The average Reddit user wouldn't have the brain power to figure it out. Consider this a gift on my part. I just translated gibberish into readable English. Come on, guys. 287 downvotes? Seriously? You do not have to be in the first floor girls' bathroom on Halloween in 1991 to see that this is obviously a troll. What is up, my aesthetic boys? It's Fresh back with another video from r slash I am very smart. Now, it's been a busy time for me. Just draw merch for the first time. The holidays are right around the corner, and sometimes it's nice to just sit back and make Reddit videos. Tonight was the worst bowling performance I have committed in perhaps the last five years. I could blame it on the chaos of the current era and my lack of decent sleep over the last couple of weeks, but I've reached the age where excuses are insufficient, the crutch of the weak-minded. I will acknowledge this failing, incorporate it into the tapestry of memory, and seek to diminish its glare in my next attempts. In these coming dark times, I must aim higher and steady myself against the raging winds of ever-present adversity. Ah, bowling. Such a, a fickle game. The pin gods giveth and the pin gods taketh away. Deuteronomy 710. In dark times like this, I like to turn to short affirmations, phrases I can repeat to raise the spirits, like, who do you think you are? I am. Who do you think you are? I am. When you finish eating at an Australian restaurant. <laughs> I get it. Yes, yeah, so many geniuses that don't get the joke because they don't know what checkmate is or what a chess queen piece looks like. Yeah, I'm more into, you know, counterculture, unknown bands like Queen and the Beatles, you know, esoteric, never played unknown table games like, uh, chess featuring uncommon usually forgotten pieces like the queen historically one of the weaker pieces on the board girls with time machine i am your granddaughter really boys with time machine <laughs> yo bro you gotta try this whoever made this meme clearly got their understanding of firearms from video games <laughs> of course m240 machine gun automatically beats musket duh except not really First off, a single machine gun isn't going to be enough to change history. Secondly, the person seems to have failed to bring ammunition, spare barrels, spare parts, a cleaning kit, or any of the other myriad items necessary to keep a machine gun operational for an extended period. In conclusion, this meme is simplistic and childish. There seems to be a stick lodged firmly up your ass. At this point, I doubt you'd even be able to remove it. No, I'm just smart. And you're not. Simplistic and childish, you say? Some would say that's the point. Hi, it's me again. I'm still alive. I need some help with getting a driver's license. I plan to purchase a dope whip tomorrow or this week, but I'm being told, as usual, there's a whole lot of green tape I must cut through. It's truly remarkable how long things take to get done here, but I digress. I have a Colombian Cedula. Took almost 1500 US dollars and a lot of wasted time to secure it, so hopefully it's not difficult. I also may need a new realtor since they all get tired from me asking too many intelligent questions. Maybe yeah, I should just buy in Milan, Italy, or Portugal. The curse of the high IQ is real. That's why I retired at 37. Got to ask smart questions or end up wasting a lot of time. Anyway, please DM me the best and fastest way to be able to buy a car here. I have a driver, bodyguard, who will handle driving till I get my driver's license. Will that be enough to buy the car? All these rules only slow down economic activity. I'm pretty sure green tape is supposed to be effective regulation. Like, red tape is the bad stuff. That's like, you know, the useless, just kind of obstructionary, uh, you know, government is inefficient kind of tape. But green tape is like, I don't know, getting a license to drive a car, right? That's That seems like a good rule to me. And I feel like... If you were really that smart or that rich, you probably wouldn't have to be asking for advice on Facebook. The only use for this lock that I can even think of is for childproofing cabinets. Honestly, ah, that depends on how crafty your children are. I disassembled and reassembled the family microwave when I was three, and I'm sure I wasn't the only toddler too clever for their own good. The crazier part of this comment is that it got 53 likes. 53 I mean how many toddlers are walking around with screwdrivers disassembling kitchen appliances I mean 
Sure, disassembling microwaves can be done very safely so long as, you know, unplug it from a power source, carefully avoid damaging the toxic and carcinogenic ceramic insulator, then you just have to discharge the filter caps and you're in the clear. Pretty basic stuff that most three-year-olds should be able to wrap their tiny softball-sized heads around. Also, LPL represent. So I really like this, but I don't know if I can make that price work. Could you give me a discount? I wanted to buy this for my son for Christmas. You're really asking me for a discount? Well, I already told my son he could have it. Do you really want to ruin his Christmas? Oh, no, I guess I don't. Yeah, I'll take 15% off. R really? Uh, okay, yeah. Sorry, I didn't think that would work. Oh, no, it didn't. This is just a fresh video sponsored by Ridge. Everyone gets 15% off for the holidays. That's right, guys. It's that time of the year. The holiday season is upon us. You're looking for the perfect gift, and the sponsor of today's video, Ridge Wallet, is gonna hook you up. Check out any of their premium wallet products, ball out with a little bit of real gold, class things up with some titanium, whatever you want, and through December 8th, you can use code FRESH for 15% off your order. Say goodbye to that old bulky wallet and bring in the new year with Ridge, the sleek light industrial wallet. Head over to ridge.com forward slash fresh to check out their full catalog, and remember to use code FRESH for 15% off through December 8th. That's ridge.com forward slash fresh. Another slow news day. Barbados Today isn't worth the paper it's not printed on. <laughs> Last time I checked, Barbados Today was online only, hence no paper. Yeah, I was going to make an unkind, sarcastic remark, but just reread. You see, Reddit may grow, YouTube may adapt, but Facebook, well, some things never change. Soup of the day implies that there is another dark and mysterious evening soup. Soup of the night. <laughs> soup of the day means a daily soup that changes every day. A daily soup. Soup of the day. Good soup. Yeah, I don't watch TV. My good taste in music brought me here. I'm 28 and have been listening to this song for at least 15 years. It amazes me how with the internet so many individuals in my generation find great music like this through TV shows. Oh, please don't include me in that group. I find music I like by looking for it. What's the problem with finding it through a TV show? Shouldn't you be glad that other people are also experiencing stuff that you already enjoy? How in any way does their enjoyment of it take away from the enjoyment you are already experiencing? Other people are just agreeing with you. Why does it matter where exactly they found it? I, I get sometimes it can be a little frustrating or saddening to have music be so closely associated with something that you don't associate it with, but clumping people into a group of, of where they came from, like, it's, it's music. What a great time to be alive that people can find music in so many different ways. He literally said sus. Where the hell did that trend come from? Oh yeah, the hit game Among Us. Everyone says sus, bro. What are you on about, my dude? The kid is slow. <laughs> Don't call me a kid. I am a proud 15-year-old with an 11th to 12th grade level in math. I'm in 9th grade and almost all A's. If anything, I am way smarter than you, and it probably wouldn't even matter what your age or grade was if you were in school anyway, buddy. Well, aside from this being 100% something that a 15-year-old would say online, I just like how he emphasized the word buddy. I don't know if there's repressed childhood trauma, a desire not to say anything even adjacent to a swear or what have you, but I get big future U.S. Army soldier vibes from this particular reply. We wasted our potential and fought each other over invisible lines in the ground and the color of our skin. We should have reached for the stars, but in the end, we didn't deserve them anyway. Uh, it's should have or should have the contraction. Should of is not a term. Of is not a verb. One cannot of a thing. Well, you're just being pedantic. You get the sentiment behind what the other dude said, so that's really all that should matter. Yes, I am being pedantic. But language matters, and people shouldn't go out of their way to be wrong, nor should they permit it. Should have contains the exact same amount of characters as should of. No time is saved, there is absolutely no value to being incorrect in this case. I care not for your scorn. Okay, so let me get this straight. You yourself stated that should have and should have are the same number of syllables, so no time is saved, but by the reverse implication, no time is lost. So with timing as the centerpiece of your argument, you then proceed to write 75 words over two separate comments. 
curious. Though I do love the line, I care not for your scorn, I will definitely need to figure out a way to work that into my daily vernacular. Now this is good electronic music. It progresses, changes, remembers, responds. No one wants to listen to cruel monotony of the generic musicians of the genre who seem to seek a dubious state of trance through laying layers of sound one after another. One wants to follow the music, not get lost in it. Emotion is temporal. It's not an eagerly anticipated moment of excess. The degree of dynamism and tenderness of this song just simply baffles me. Homie really thought he did something there, but I've been looking at this post for about the last five minutes, and sure, maybe it's just because it's 1.19 in the morning when I'm recording this and I have to be at work in seven hours, but I just cannot figure out what emotion is temporal. It's not an eagerly anticipated moment of excess, and I cannot for the life of me manage to connect that sentence to the broader commentary on the genre of electronic music. Okay, so it looks like we have a video of a, uh, a glider, and the Facebook comment says, Physics shows us that the object is so light, so much that it could exceed the compression of a flyover. The energy sphere of the flying object does not need any cyclic motorization. Well, that's definitely a lot of words to explain what a glider does. Actually, I am. I'm full of all kinds of facts and information and stories. I'm the one who teaches people when they're wrong. Decent people are usually not offended by being wrong. Well, if you're not going to get offended by being wrong, go ahead and fix that spelling for me, why don't you? Showing this video to me is like showing a degree level mathematician simple addition and teaching him about it, bro. This is a YouTube comment. You are definitely not being coerced into watching this. Nobody's got a gun to your head. Just click out. If it's, if it's that bad, if it's that you know easy for you, just don't watch it. It's that simple. I'm Genius IQ, be, believe, it or not. I'm pretty sure if you had a Genius IQ, then you would have at least basic grammar and typing capabilities. I actually choose to believe the formatting of this is very intentional. It's like a modern day Rosetta Stone. One day we'll figure out what exactly that awkward spacing means, and until that day, I'd settle for it on a t-shirt.